गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट इन दिस मॉर्निंग वी विल डिस्कस माइक्रो स्पोरोजेनेसिस वी नो दैट पॉलिग्रेन्स आर प्रोड्यूस इन एंथर दैट इज द पार्ट ऑफ द स्टर्न इन एंथर in anther this anther is composed of sporogenous tissue every cell of sporogenous tissue has the potential to act as a microspore mother cell microspore mother cell this microspore mother cell divides and develop into microspore tracker this microspore tracker are further converted into numerous micro spore these micro spores these micro spore are abundantly produced in anther when these micro spore are produced in abundantly in anther these micro spore exert a pressure on the wall of the anther as a result this anther is desessed this anther is desessed and polymerase of microspore are released when a microspore of polymerase are released from anther
cellulose and pectin now in most of the angiosperm in most of the angiosperm when the pollen are released from the anther it is two cell stage first is generative and second one is vegetative that means in most of the angiosperm when the pollen grain are released from the anther it has two cell or two nucleus generative cell or vegetative cell but in some cases generative cell divides generative cell divides and give rise to two male gamete two male gamete so this condition is three cell stage of pollen grain that means when the generative cell is divided into the two male gamete two male gamete it is three cell stage now that now that mega sporogenesis now that mega sporogenesis mega sporogenesis the formation the formation of the mega spore from mega spore mother cell is known as mega sporogenesis it is just like similar to micro sporogenesis micro sporogenesis is formation of the micro spore from the micro spore mother cell is known as micro sporogenesis similarly the formation of the mega spore from the formation of the mega spore from from mega spore mother cell is known as mega sporogenesis we know that a typical ovule a typical ovule or mega sporangium in angiospermic plant contains a embryo sac this one is embryo sac this one is embryo sac and this is the typical structure of ovule and the masses of the ovule is composed of cell known as nucellus known as nucellus every cell every cell of nucellus every cell of nucellus
is comparable to produce androcyte or female gametophyte. This kind of formation of androcyte or female gametophyte is known as monosporic development. Remember, when only one functional manaspore gives rise to the androcyte, this is known as monosporic development. Because out of four, only one is functional and remain three are degenerated. And remain three are degenerated. Now, now the functional megaspore, this one is the functional megaspore, divided mitotically and give rise to two liquids. Both are moved at the opposite pole. Similarly, For the consequent division, give rise to 4 and then 8. Then 8. When a functional magnus divide mitotically and give rise to male nucleus, this is called 2 cell amnestic. Now,